Hi y'all, thanks so much for joining me. Today you're going to be learning all about Pass Lake Trail at Deception Pass State Park and what you can expect if you're planning on visiting or looking for an easy hike. So here is the trailhead for Pass Lake. So we are right there. And then that's where the trailhead goes in a nice little loop. And you just keep in mind, dogs do have to be on a leash and Discover Pass is required. But it's a popular little place for fishing. They have a boat launch area. Make sure you're reading all the signs. So right now you probably don't want to go swimming because toxic algae present. No swimming, drinking, pet swimming, and as you can see, the toxic algae is in bloom. parking lot right off of the main road towards the bridge and intersecting Rosario Road which goes to Rosario Beach. A nice quiet lake uh, especially in October in the summertime I'm sure it gets much busier this whole area is very busy. Deception Pass State Park is actually the most visited state park in all of Washington with over 20 million visitors per year and you'll see why in this video. There's a lot to do here. So there is a pay box for buying a day discover pass with a nice little envelope system. You just fill that out, put the cash or check in there and boom, put that. Otherwise you can also do it this way. All right, so we're now starting part of Pass Lake Trail. I'm not gonna do the whole stretch because we've got a lot of places to see today but as you can see it's a nice little trail not too difficult but you might be able to get a trail stroller through here for family hiking I've definitely done it before as far as ADA accessible maybe a little bit depends on if you have the right equipment got your ferns and lots of flora and fauna to take a peek at. Normally you stay on the trail but it looks like we have a little side trail here and the trail actually doesn't really follow the lake much but we will here. Take you up and down around the lake. Go down this way and you get a nice view. So yeah you can probably even fish from here honestly. And when there's no toxic algae, nice little jumping off point, maybe. <laughs> Although I don't know how deep it is, so maybe not. But definitely good place for fishing. I'm sure there are different types of trout in here that you could do some fishing. Same with bass. I know I see a couple boats already in here, so they're probably doing just that. But pretty peaceful and quiet in mid-October. Weather's really nice. I'm sure it would look pretty nifty here if it was misty like the stereotypical Pacific Northwest gets. Looks like we can either go that way or back up to the main trail and that's where I'm gonna go. We'll do a little bit more here and then we'll turn around. This is Pass Lake Trail. Good for bird watching. Some older trees. See some ferns. I also see thimbleberry bushes, but looks like it's a little out of season for that. Very pretty. Yeah, the trail is pretty well maintained. So I would say most people would not have trouble, very little elevation gain, worth a little jaunt, especially if you're traveling from farther away than I am. It'd be nice to get out and take a little walk through the woods. So you get a little bit uphill, but I would say this is nothing, nothing to get you out of breath. 
Some of these trees are giant though. I mean, nothing compared to like the super old growth forests, but it is nice to see some larger trees, especially like that one. Woo. Well, I would love to do more of this little trail here, but crunching for time, I wanna show you the rest of the cool stuff that this state park has to offer since it's pretty spread out. Wow, it is very pretty out here. I like coming out on sunny days, but I'd say even if it was kind of rainy, if you have the right jacket, it was pretty nice. I love the way that the sun plays off the leaves. Very nice very enchanting and I know we didn't do the whole loop but if you do it's not too big of a loop and just like that we're back and there actually is a restroom here I may be a little bit biased because I work for state parks but state park bathrooms are always the best this state park is pretty big, so if you want to learn more about the different areas, click here or here and learn more. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. I'm glad you joined me. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can see more videos in the future.